Back once again, children. Uh, in my last class, I think I have discussed about naming of ketones and branch ketones. Today, I am going to start with naming of aldehydes. Dash CHO. See, I told you before also you should be knowing the structure of the functional groups. I can also write this one as H dash C double bond O dash H. So this is my functional group. Right? Now, as this is LDI, what will you start with? As dash CHO is present. So, what will be the suffix? The suffix is the suffix is dash L. Now, here there is no issues. There is only one carbon atom. So, the naming as only one carbon carbon atom is present so root is what? root is M-E-T-H-A-N methane so what we got ultimately we got over here M-E-T-H-A-N is the root and L is the suffix no position is required because it is only one carbon atom. So, name of the compound of compound is methanol. So, name of the compound is methanol. Once again, as in my other classes, I told you to note it down. Note it down to carry it with the other functional groups also. Okay, I hope you have noted it down. Now we will carry on to understand about some more compounds. Let's see. Example 11. Let's do with some more. Branched one. One, two, three. Right? This much is okay? CH. Okay. Let me put a branch over here, CH3. And let me put CH3 over here. So, this will contain another hydrogen, CH. CH3, CH, CHO, and here, CH3. Right? So, what we get, we already understood the functional group. What we mean by functional group over here? Here, my functional group is LDH. So, automatically, LDH, I know that the suffix is L. Right? Start, start thinking about the naming. I'm coming. I hope you understood. Now, number one, the functional group is dash CHO. So, suffix is suffix is dash L. Right? We got it. Number two. You can also write it down. It doesn't matter. Whether you write it down or don't write it down. So we got L. I told you whenever functional group is present, substrate is present, the functional group gets the preference. Here, whenever functional group is there and it contains a carbon atom, here this functional group contains a carbon atom, the numbering actually starts from there. Right? Now, the principal carbon chain, this is my principal carbon chain. Right? So, what is it? Principal carbon chain contains 1, 2, 3. 3 carbon atoms. So, root is what? Is prop. P R O P A N. Propane. Now I got propane. Propane.
propane I got, PRO, PN and propane, and here I got M. But we need to number each. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Let me put a different ink so that you understand it better. Okay? Let me mark this one with a blue ink. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Now what we can see? My functional group still gets the lowest location number. So this number is correct. This number is wrong. So what you can see? Number A. Number A. Then CHO is at position what? Left hand side by 2 as at C3. Numbering from right hand side then CHO is at Carbon 1. So the lowest location number is taken. So what do we get the name right now? We get it propane 1 L. Right? You got this much? Now there is a methyl group at C. At number two position there is a methyl group. A methyl group is present. So prefix is to methyl. So what do I get now the name? I got it. 2 methyl propane 1 L. So ultimately what is the name of the compound? 2 methyl propane 1 L. So name of compound, name of compound is 2-methyl propane 1-L So this is the name of the compound. Please note it down so that you can understand it better. Okay, I hope you have noted it down. Now one thing please remember, uh, if this LDI is on this side, there is no option. So whenever it is 1 for any functional group, you can also leave out that. So sometimes the name of this compound is also written 2-methylpropanal. The 1 is left out. That doesn't give any sense. 1 means in number 1 position because we all know the functional group always starts with the uh, the number it starts with the functional group. So it is one position, we always start with, we can also give out this one over here. So we can also write 2 methyl propanal, 2 methyl propanal instead of writing 2 methyl propane 1 L. Right, got it? So next one, let us carry on to the next one. Now the next functional group that is there in the syllabus is dash CWH. We'll start with the lowest compound and we'll carry on with the other compounds, okay?
example 12, we will start with this compound CH3-COOH. If I draw the structure of this one, it will be this CH3, right? CH3 dash C double bond O dash O dash H. CH3COOH, right? COOH means what? It is. It has got carboxyl group attached to it, right? No. So it has got carboxyl group attached to it. The suffix will be oic acid. Let's start. Number one. As that C double OH is attached, so the suffix is oic acid. Okay, got it? Next. Number two. Now we found the principal carbon chain. It contains how many? Two carbons. As two carbon atoms are present, so root is make it ethane. E-T-H-A-N. So, what will be my naming like? The root is in the middle. E-T-H-A-N. Ethane. And here, oic acid. Got it? Now. Now, I told you numbering of number one position of this type of compounds, aldehyde as well as C-double-O-H, may be given, may not be given. Preferably, usually it is not given. Okay? So you can leave it out. As no prefix, so name of compound is ethanoic acid. So the name of the compound is ethanoic acid, right? Once again, note it down, we'll carry on with the next example. Okay? So we'll move on to the next example to understand our branched compound as we are doing one simple one and one branched one. So what we will do? We will start up with this compound. Yeah. So this is my compound that is available. Right? Now we already understood that CO is present as dash C O O H is present. So what will be my suffix? Suffix is oic acid. Okay. Now the numbering starts. What is the principal carbon chain? It has to include the functional group. So I have taken this is my principal carbon chain. Principal carbon chain contains three carbon atoms. So root is root is make it prop propane. So I got my compound nearby. I got it. P R O P A N propane, and this is O E acid. Now we start with the 
naming numbering of the carbon. One, two, three. And if I number it in the other way round, it is one, two, three. I know that. What? I know that the functional group with the lowest location number, this is correct, this is wrong. Numbering So, as the functional group is in number one position, we need not write down the number one position. But, as we come from this side, the number two position, we can see there is a methyl. And number two position, there is another methyl. Numbering from right hand side, there are two methyl groups. Okay?